These performers are secondary school students from Kayalicha, a former apartheid township on the outskirts of Cape Town. Months ago, hardly any of them had set foot on a stage. Now, even the cold and rain of a Cape September can't stop them. This show, organized by Global Rock Challenge, aims to encourage schools to use performance to motivate their students. Faith Bakicha has discovered giving her students a chance to dance keeps them coming back to school. It's difficult for us as educators because we have learners who have potential, but because of the situation, they can't focus on their studies and then what they do, they resort in crimes. It's kind of exciting and uh, I feel so happy because that made them motivated in a way because they could see that at school there, there is something that can make them happy even if they are not so happy in their homes and, and, and the communities. Kaya Licha, where most of faith students live, lacks basic amenities and jobs. It's one of the poorest urban areas in South Africa. Bad news for its under-18s, who make up 40% of its population. Fifteen secondary schools serve the adolescents of Kayalicha. Faith Bakicha's school, Usazazo, now occupies new purpose-built premises. But despite this investment in education, students' social problems loom large. Most of the learners, they tell us that they come to school on an empty stomach and come here hoping to get a slice of bread. After school, they go home, the, the pots are still empty. So they cannot go on with education because of poverty. And uh, they see crime as a solution to poverty. So some, they resort to prostitution and uh, drugs because um, there's no money. To make school worthwhile, children need interest and enjoyment. But teachers at Usazazo are hard pressed, just keeping the machine ticking over. Good morning, everybody. Today we have the, the Chapis. The school has 1,200 students on its roll and only 40 teachers. They face class sizes unimaginable in English schools. Yeah, in South Africa, you're stuck with 50, 60 learners per class. And then you will have about five of those classes per day which means you see five times 60, almost 300 people per day. I'm teaching grade eight, nine, and 10. Most of them can't read. But Faith Bakicha decided to add to her burdens. When I was sitting here in class, I thought we don't need to only focus on the academic side. We need to check the talents as well of the learners because the learners are very, very talented. So I started um, with debating, then drama, then music, then dance, then media, and I could see that the atmosphere is now changing here at school. Learners are enthusiastic. They want to come to school. Faith's experimentation with after-school activities has produced this drama, written by her students. It's their view of the new South Africa. Who are we really? And where are we going? Damn! It's sad. I am thrilled if I look at the response of my grade nine pupils and how they're acting here on stage. They are two totally different people from being in class and on stage. Are you asking me why we, what I know? My government is doing very well on my side. I feel so nervous because other people were laughing at me, so 
I tell myself, no, I'm going to leave drum. But my director encouraged me that, no, you mustn't listen to other people. You must tell yourself, I'm going to do this. And I tell myself, and now I'm doing it. It's always the one that I had problems with in the class. They can't focus. And here they have an opportunity to let go of all these energies. Ah, oh, that feels fantastic. Because when you're like performing, there's like a bubbling inside and it feels quite great. I'm going to do my best so that everyone can like say, you know, did you see Caroline? She was perfect in that stage. It's better now because I know what drama is. And drama is everything that happens in our life. In the drama, which reflects real life in Kayalicha, armed gangsters attack a nightclub. show that play so that people can understand things are happening, rapes are happening. Even at home, your father could just rape you and stuff like that. That's why we, you know, show it because it does happen. Our fathers are raping the children and we can't go to school freely because the people who are not attending school are, take, are taking those girls and rape them. We even scared to, at seven o'clock, or you even scared to go outside and do something in your own yard because someone could just break in and just come, especially here in Cape Town. In the drama, people take to the streets to protest the conditions of their lives. this story, the government pays attention to their protest. The president and two of his cabinet ministers come to hear what people have to say. If we're now living without food, without water, we're selling our bodies to make a living, we're going to carry on like that until forever. No, it won't be okay. We need to start now if you want our futures to be bright. I am happy about what Miss Bikich has been done for us because if she was not here, we wouldn't have this chance. Actually, drama is inside of my blood, you see. I, you see, drama is what I would like to do. It has made uh, lots of changes in our school, uh, not on, only in our school, in, in, in the communities as well, because what is happening, they take this to their communities. Morning of the Rock Challenge show. We are the Rock Challenge! We are the Rock Challenge! Usazazo are in great form. They have something to prove. And he's going to get us! We don't have everything, you know, our resources aren't enough and stuff like that. And we, we started very, very difficult. And people weren't putting much confidence in us, they weren't believing in us. But then we're here now. All across Kyalicha, Schools have spent months preparing to be here, now, rehearsing for the big night ahead.
Come, guys, come. I'm confident about my group. First rehearsal, and it was great. I, I'm so happy, really. Good performance, and I'm thrilled. We've never done an outdoor event. This is our first one here in Kailiche, so uh, everybody's quite excited about that. And they also feel great that they can do uh, like a professional event like this within their community and you don't have to go anywhere else. So it's building a community in a sense. There are small practical problems, cold and hunger. The schools have no food with them. By the time Usazazo start to get changed, They've been on this field for nine hours. There's no place to change for them, so they have to change here. They have to change it. There's no other place for them. Good evening to everybody. Yay! We just got ready for the stage. I'm going to be representing my school. Sazazo have called their performance Revisiting My African Being. They dance as if their lives depend on it. After the excitement, it's back to school. The performers find they've won new respect from their classmates. Others are jealous because we are the celebs. <laughs> Keep quiet, man. The Horizons Faith's work is opening up, go beyond performance. I know who I am, so I'm unique, and my ambitions are one day I want to be a scientist. Yeah. My first choice is to be a scientist. My second choice is to be an engineer. If I was not working, I was going to choose to be a gangster. But if you are a gangster, you end up dying. Whatever I do here, I am doing for the whole school I am doing for the learners. I'm do, I am doing it for, the, for our country, South Africa, as a whole. Because whatever change, if you change one child, you change the whole country. Oh. 